Another important fatty acid that we are interested in is called palmitic acid, and this is uh, a saturated fat, and it is uh, found in palm oil, and it's very common in the diet. But what's interesting about palmitic acid is that if you eat a lot of palm oil or saturated fats, your palmitic acid uh, levels do not increase. Um, it is not the same relationship as the omega-3s. So with the palmitic acid, we've seen that if you have a high diet in carbohydrates or you have excessive carbohydrates, you actually get more of these shorter chain um, saturated and monounsaturated fatty acids. So your body takes the extra carbons from the carbohydrates and makes fat out of it to store for later and typically does that. Um, and, and the types of fatty acids that it makes are called de novo lipogenesis fatty acids and it's your lower chain like 16 and 18 um, chain carbon fatty acids. So that group of fatty acids including palmitic acid we think is really interesting because it kind of is identifying a dietary pattern and palmitic acid also um, blood levels have been shown to be related to diabetes in large studies as well. So having higher levels of that fatty acid is related to higher incidence of diabetes. Still, we don't have enough information on this fatty acid to make really specific dietary recommendations, but it's an interesting fatty acid that um, in the future might help us understand that metabolism a little bit better.